and welcome friends in this lecture we are going to start the various calculations in the chapter marginal costing and we are starting with the very primary concepts of contribution per unit break even point profit volume ratio margin of safety and a very say primary level concept of profit planning let us take the problem the problem is present sales 10000 units and rupees 100000 on 1 lakh variable cost rupees 6 per unit and fixed cost rupees 30000 calculate pv ratio that is profit volume ratio bp margin of safety and sales to return Sorry, sales to earn profit of rupees five thousand. Calculate revised values of all these four. If a the selling price is increased by twenty percent or decreased by twenty percent, two different situations: increase of twenty percent in selling price, decrease of twenty percent in selling price. B the variable cost increases or decreases by rupee one. that means again there are two different situations if variable cost increases by rupee 1 per unit if variable cost decreases by rupee 1 per unit and c the fixed cost increases or decreases by 10% again there are two situations fixed cost increases by 10% fixed cost decreases by 10% so in all there are seven parts of the solution of the problem first we need to calculate contribution per unit pv ratio bp margin of safety and required sales in this existing situation and in other six proposed or estimated situation so we are going to cover the solution of this problem in seven different parts let us first find out all the things under this existing situation yes first of all if we need or we want to calculate pv ratio we should have two things one is contribution margin and another is sales value or selling price per unit either both of these should be per unit amounts or both of these should be total amounts if we take total amount of sales of rupees 1 lakh or 100000 then we should find out the contribution total amount but i always advise if it is possible always find out contribution per unit in any problem or in solution of any problem of the chapter marginal costing or short term decision making so in the existing situation let us first calculate contribution per unit selling price minus variable cost selling price is given to be no selling price has not been given so first of all we have to find out selling price now what is selling price it is rupees 100000 or 1 lakh divided by 10000 units so the selling price is rupees 10 per unit now we have variable cost of rupees 6 per unit so we can easily find out the contribution per unit Rupees ten, that is selling price. Rupees six, that is variable cost. So it comes to rupees four per unit. This is the contribution margin per unit of sales in the existing situation. Now we can find out all the four main things. That will be. first of all profit volume ratio what is profit volume ratio it is the ratio or proportion of contribution to sales revenue proportion of contribution to sales revenue that means again we have two alternatives either we can use per unit amounts of contribution and sell that is selling price to calculate pv ratio or we can use 
both the total amounts total contribution that will be rupees 4 into 10,000 units 40,000 but again we are going to use the per unit amount only so the contribution comes to 0.4 what is the interpretation of this 0.4 this 0.4 means 40 paise 0.4 rupee is the amount of contribution against each sales revenue of rupee 1 somewhat confusing so we always express the contri uh, rather PV ratio in terms of percentage if we multiply it by 100 the result will be percentage so we can say that the PV ratio is 0.4 or 40 percent that means 40 percent of sales revenue is our contribution margin from which our fixed costs are recovered and the remaining amount will be the profit. Second will be break even point. First we are going to find out the break even sales quantity and then by multiplying the break even sales quantity by the selling price per unit it will give us the sales revenue to break even. Very simple formula, total fixed cost is always substituted as total amount in any formula divided by contribution per unit. The logic behind this formula is at, con at break even point the total contribution exactly equals to the total fixed cost. So by the term fixed cost here we mean the total contribution at break even sales. It is rupees 30,000 divided by rupees 4 per unit the logic of the calculation is rupees rupees cancel 30,000 divided by 4 is 7,500 so it will be 7,500 units that is break even sales quantity if we want to know the break even sales revenue or break even sales value multiply the break even sales quantity by the selling price So now the interpretation is if the existing sales is taken as rupees 1 lakh out of which 75,000 is enough to make the firm break even to reach the break even point or similarly if the existing sales is taken as 10,000 units in terms of quantity 7,500 units of sales is enough to reach the break even sales. Now what about the remaining 22,500 or say rupees 25,000 of sales that is known as margin of safety it is margin of safety margin of safety means the difference between sales or actual sales and break even sales because break even point is not a say real situation it is an ideal situation at particular point of time only a firm can reach the break even point because sales is an ongoing process at a particular moment we never stop the sales activity so in ongoing situation break even point is just a milestone even if the firm reach break even point the firm continues to make production and sales so beyond break even quantity or the sales in excess of the break even quantity or break even revenue is our margin of safety if in case margin of safety is negative that means the firm has still not reached the break even point or BEP is less than uh, sorry actual sales is less than the BEP but in this case the thing is positive if we take quantity the margin of safety comes to 2500 units this is margin of safety quantity or margin of safety revenue will be rupees 1 lakh or 100,000 minus break even sales revenue 75,000 so it comes to rupees 25,000 we can reconcile this 
2500 units is quantity per unit is sold at 10 rupees so 2500 multiplied by 10 will give us the amount of 25000 rupees and the fourth thing that is actually if we take the topics precisely the last thing is profit planning or say analysis of sales and profit required sales to earn profit of rupees 5000 how much sales is required to earn a profit of rupees 5000 the formula is very easy in case of break even sales the contrib total contribution doesn't include any profit because this is the situation of no profit no loss either zero profit or zero loss so we don't show the amount of profit in this formula because the value of profit is zero but when we consider a sales quantity other than the break even quantity then we have to consider that that quantity will be resulting into a profit or loss then we have to consider profit or loss at the time of considering the total contribution so the formula of required sales is fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution per unit compare these two formula logically both are same because if we substitute profit as zero in this formula the same formula is there the logic is total contribution divided by contribution per unit gives us the quantity of sales 30,000 rupees plus we desire the profit of rupees 5,000 and our contribution is rupees 4 per unit ultimately it is 35,000 divided by 4 both are rupees so uh, the answer in number of units the required sales comes to 8750 units that means if this firm wants to earn a profit of rupees 5000 then it requires to make sales of 8750 units now what is the existing situation it shows that the firm is making 10,000 units of sales at present that means at present the firm is making profit more than rupees 5000 obviously yes another interpretation can be drawn if the firm's margin of safety is positive the firm is making sales I dare to say that only this part of sales is result uh, say giving the profit to the firm because up to this quantity of sales the firm is not going to make any profit this quantity is enough to recover the fixed cost or this quantity generates the contribution margin which is enough to recover the operating fixed cost only after reaching this quantity of sales now the sales will give us the profit more precisely the sales in excess of this quantity gives profit and what is that profit that is nothing contribution from the sales beyond the break even point is known as profit because fro contribution from this much sales beyond the break even point will not require to recover or write off any fixed cost we can believe that now if we reach this point another sales will not require any additional fixed cost till the maximum capacity utilization is reached within the short term now if we convert this into amount it will be 8750 into rupees 10 so required sales in terms of amount comes to 87500 rupees so we dare to say that at present the company or the firm is making profit more than rupees 5000 if anybody is curious about the amount of profit at present it is
it is very easy just take the quantity of margin of safety multiplied by the contribution per unit that will give us the profit at present 4 into 2500 that means at present the company is making profit of rupees 10,000 another logic is C if we calculate margin of safety using this amount or this quantity of sales it will be 8750 minus 7500 so it will be 1250 units multiplied by contribution per unit 4 the profit comes to rupees 5000 this quantity of sales gives the profit of rupees 5000 that we know but through this formula also we can calculate the profit at present same formula required sales equals to fixed cost plus profit upon contribution per unit now substitute the quantity of sales into this formula and profit is missing cross multiplication 10,000 into 4 equals to 30,000 plus profit so ultimately it is 40,000 equals to 30,000 plus profit that type of equation so profit comes to rupees 10,000 now we can verify that mark profit equals to margin of safety quantity into contribution per unit 2500 units into rupees 4 so the profit comes to rupees 10,000 so it was not covered in the original problem I discussed this topic as an additional topic because for all the students who study marginal costing should have this type of concept very clear in this mind. Now in the next lecture we are going to solve the second part of the same problem and that will be if there are changes in selling price. Thank you very much.